retrieval data structure. In computer science, a retrieval data structure, also known as static function, is a space-efficient dictionary-like data type composed of a collection of key-value pairs that allows the following operations construction from a collection of key. Value pairs retrieve the value associated with a given key or anything if the key is not contained in the collection up the value associated with the key optional. They can also be thought of as a function b, letter 1 d4 b0 right arrow 0, 1 r for a universe letter 1 d4 b0 and the set of keys s letter 1 d4 b0 where retrieve has to return bx for any value xs and an arbitrary value from 0, 1 r otherwise. In contrast to static functions, A and Q filters support probabilistic membership queries and dictionaries additionally allow operations like listing keys or looking at the value associated with a key and returning some other symbol if the key is not contained. As can be derived from the operations, this data structure does not need to store the keys at all and may actually use less space than would be needed for a simple list of the key value pairs. This makes it attractive in situations where the associated data is small e, g, a few bits compared to the keys because we can save a lot by reducing the space used by keys. To give a simple example, suppose in video game names annotated with a boolean indicating whether the game contains a dot that can be pitted or given. A static function built from this database can reproduce the associated flag for all names contained in the original set and an arbitrary one for other names. The size of this static function can be made to be only 1 plus letter 3f5n bits for a small letter 3f5 which is obviously much less than any pair-based representation. Examples A trivial example of a static function is a sorted list of the keys and values which implements all the above operations and many more. However, the retrieve on a list is slow and we implement many unneeded operations that can be removed to allow optimizations. Furthermore, we are even allowed to return junk if the queried key is not contained which we did not use at all. Perfect hash function Another simple example to build a static function is using a perfect hash function. After building the PHF for our keys, store the corresponding values at the correct position for the key. As can be seen, this approach also allows updating the associated values that the keys have to be static. A correctness follows from the correctness of the perfect hash function. Using a minimum perfect hash function gives a big space improvement if the associated values are relatively small. XOR retrieval Hash filters can be categorized by their query is in TOR and in XOR filters. For example, the Bloom filter is an N filter since it returns true for a membership query if all pro locations match. XOR filters work only for static retrievals and are the most promising for building them space efficiently. They are built by solving a linear system which ensures that a query for every key returns true. Instruction Given a hash function h that maps each key to a bit vector of length m greater or equal to s equals n where all h x axis are linearly independent the following system of linear equations has a solution z0, 1 m times r. h x z equals b x x s. Therefore, the static function is given by h and z and the space usage is dominated by z which is roughly 1 plus letter 3 f5 n bits per key for m equals 1 plus letter 3 f5 n, the hash function is assumed to be small. A retrieval for x letter 1 d4 b0 can be expressed as the bitwise xor of the row zi for all set bits i of hx. Furthermore, fast queries require sparse hx, thus the problems that need to be solved for this method are finding a suitable hash function and still being able to solve the system of linear equations efficiently. Ribbon retrieval Using a sparse random matrix h makes retrievals cache inefficient because they access most of z in a random non-local pattern. Ribbon retrieval improves on this by giving each hx a consecutive ribbon of width w equals letter 1 d4 a year log n slash letter 3 f5 in which bits are set at random. Using the properties of hx the matrix c can be computed in letter 1 d4 a year and slash letter 3 f5 to expected time. Ribbon solving works by first sorting the rows by their starting position e.g. counting sort. Then, REM form can be constructed iteratively by performing row operations on rows strictly below the current row, eliminating all one entries in all columns below the first one entry of this row. Row operations do not produce any values outside of the ribbon and are very cheap since they only require an XOR of letter 1 d4 ray log in slash letter 3 f5 bits, which can be done in letter 1 d4 ray or any slash letter 3 f5 time on REM. It can be shown that the expected amount of row operations is letter 1 d4 e and slash letter 3 f5. Finally, the solution is obtained by back substitution. Approximate membership. 
To build an approximate membership data structure, use the fingerprinting function h, let a 1d4 b0 write arrow 0, 1r. Then build a static function dhs on h s restricted to the domain of our keys s. Checking the membership of an element x letter 1d4 b0 is done by evaluating dhs with x and returning true if the return value equals hx. If x s, dhs returns the correct value hx and we return true. Otherwise, DHS returns a random value and we might give a wrong answer. The length r of the hash allows controlling the false positive rate of equals to r. The performance of this data structure is exactly the performance of the underlying static function. Perfect hash functions. A retrieval data structure can be used to construct a perfect hash function. First insert the keys into a cuckoo hash table with h equals to r hash functions hi and buckets of size 1. Then, for every key store the index of the hash function that lead to a key's insertion into the hash table in our bit retrieval data structure d, the perfect hash function is given by hdxx.